Russia has deployed more helicopters in response to Ukraine's counteroffensive in the self-defense zone. This includes employing one of its primary components, attack helicopters. Due to the expansive front line and the extensive use of Ukrainian armored vehicles, these helicopters play a significant role in repelling enemy attacks. The Mi-28N and the more advanced Ka-52 were designed to eliminate enemy armored vehicles. These rotorcraft play a vital role in combat and possess remarkable capabilities. Russia's official videos show Ka-52 helicopters destroying Ukrainian armor, including German-made Leopard 2 tanks, while Ukraine says it has shot down four of them during the counteroffensive. In this thrilling episode, Top Defense is about to unveil a gripping battle between these two formidable helicopters. Brace yourself as we delve into their combat prowess. Let the excitement begin. Reliable engines and design that provide agility. My 28N seems to be more effective in higher altitudes, especially because it can fly 1,640 feet higher than Ka-52. But pilots that have flown both aircraft have stated that Mi 28N is lighter and easier during flight. Kamov Ka-52 Alligator is shorter but Mi 28N has a smaller vertical profile. When Vortex Ring Mode is enabled, the second helicopter is more stable, but in contrast with Ka-52, it is greater affected by side wings when hovering or landing. Ka-52 features excellent maneuverability, but that can be very catastrophic too, as there is a possibility of rotors hitting each other during an extreme maneuver. Of course, we couldn't mention it as a big disadvantage if we hadn't a similar disaster in mind. During training, the rotors of a Ka-52 hit each other, something that led to the destruction of the helicopter and the death of both pilots. So, even if the coaxial layout provides an excellently balanced and aerodynamic system, damage to one of the two rotors can weaken the helicopter tragically. Mi-28 on the other side has the survivability of its predecessor, the Mi-24. In Afghanistan and Chechnya, some Mi-28 achieved to land safely, even without a working rotor, but Ka-52 features ejecting seats, an extremely useful characteristic. Mi-28 is better protected compared to Ka-52, but the Kamov helicopter is more agile. In Ka-52, pilots sit side by side, while in Mi-28, they sit in tandem with the rear co-pilot a little higher. In Ka-52's formation, pilots can work together easier, especially during battle. Of course, Mi-28 pilots have better visibility. Lethal Armament for Both Aircraft The missile equipment of the two helicopters is very similar, although Ka-52 has more hard points to carry them. The Cam of Attack helicopter has six hard points that can carry a maximum payload of 4,410 pounds, while the Mi-28 has four hard points for a payload of 3,530 pounds. On paper, the combination of weapons is also pretty similar. The basic attack equipment of Mi-28 still consists of the old Ataka anti-tank guided missiles, which can hit a target at a maximum range of 3.7 miles. On the other side, Ka-52 is equipped with the Whirlwind anti-tank missile that features a range of 6.2 miles. Although Ataka has radio guidance, a feature that leaves the enemy with fewer chances of dodging the Ataka rather than Whirlwind, the last missile uses the inferior laser beam guidance. Mil Mi-28 and Havok can carry 16 Ataka missiles, while Ka-52 has a capacity of 12 Whirlwind weapons. Besides that, the basic weaponry of Ka-52 includes the IGLA-V and IGLA's air-to-air -air missiles, two weapons that protect the aircraft from aerial attacks. The Biggest Difference 
The biggest difference between the two aircrafts can be found in guidance and observation systems. The Argument 2000 targeting and guidance system of Co-52 is extremely good. The difference with Mi-28N is quite simple. Co-52 features more modern combat equipment, while Mi-28N set is in general more sophisticated and allows pilots to easier receive data in visual form, plus share it faster with friendly operators. Performance in battle is critical. When taking in mind the numerous confirmed operations in Ukraine, it seems like these two helicopters operate in pairs for the majority of cases. The combination of Co-52 and Mi-28 has proved to be very effective. Based on videos published on the internet, we conclude that Mi-28 and flies first, operating as an armed reconnaissance aircraft. Behind it, and at a close distance, you can find Co-52. The specific flight configuration is very logical if you consider that Mi-28 and features better armor and reconnaissance systems. Plus, Mi-28 and cannons provide a better angle, without the need of reducing the speed of course of the helicopter. So, Mi-28 and operates as a reconnaissance aircraft, proving its crew with data about the target. On the other side, K-52 operates in the role of coverage, including aerial defense. On the battlefield, it can conduct the final hit with its exceptional weapons. We can't compare the two ultimate Russian aircraft. We could say that they're almost equivalent. Neither of them has an advantage over the other, and even if it has, these advantages don't mean anything due to other factors.